It wraps like a heart attack, that's fatal heart impact, past painful thoughts, in fact I blast tasteful thoughts and packs, I back up my actions, back don't ask, grab reactions, jack attack with every word, then act with class, as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't boss, I'm finally loose, pick a new silver excuse, I need the views to boost me through a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace, now you're dead to me, so peace out, remember you're discreet now, you ready for defeat? Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, whenever we last left off, quite a lot of things have happened. However, let me just summarize most of it, or about half of it, in the briefest sentence possible. Deku was kidnapped by an alien. Now, after that did happen, Deku, he found something kind of strange. He can try to turn her into the authorities and claim she's a freak, or he can try to turn her into the authorities and claim that she's an alien. However, there's a problem with that. She has telepathic abilities. She may not know how to lie, because so far she seems to be telling the truth. And, well, if he claims that she's an alien, he's going to end up in a fucking loony bin. Especially because the fact is, she kidnapped him for about a week and may have done something to his brain. Now... With that being said, Deku, he was trying to weigh his options. And after being able to verify with telepathy that this girl is an actual alien, he kind of found himself in a rock and a hard place. Now, Deku, yeah. He found this to be kind of strange. He doesn't exactly know what to do. And, well, he's aboard an alien spaceship right now, trying to figure things out. Now, with that all being said, let's pick up there. Now, the alien girl, or A, as I have briefly named her, she is currently talking to somebody over, well, a monitor. And she's at least trying to explain where she has been for the last two and a half, let's just say, weeks. Now, she is trying to play catch up. As Deku, he's currently still staying there, wondering about many of the things around him. Now, Deku, he's a very smart man. From his time around crime scenes, and even in just areas where things are strange, and tech is kind of weird and some of it can be handmade, he knows not to touch anything around him. Especially from investigating places where tech can be hidden in plain sight. And then there's here. He's looking around, and he does see that they're currently in a room where the floors they're strange. They feel weird under his feet. They feel sort of... Well, he doesn't even know how to explain it. It's like he's in an elevator. And then there's whenever he does look around. Many tables are clear, and then there's something strange on the wall. Now, he does actually continue to wait. As after a few minutes, you do actually have where A, she's going to turn around. And she does try to explain to Deku that she just got off the phone, or the phone, as she would say, with her superior. Hmm? Um, okay. So, what's going on? Well, um, he is trying to understand what is going on. He has never, truthfully, encountered a human who's like you, or like us. Okay, so what about that? Well, he would like to speak with you. However, that's not possible. He'd have to come here directly. Okay. Yes. Well, for right now, he's asking about, if that's the correct phrasing. He's trying to talk and see if this will be viable. Fact is, you're saying that we will be able to do much more research if we use this thing you call the Internet. And if we are able to stay with you. Hang on, hang on. We? Yes, me. However, my superiors, they would like to come here and see you. Speak with you. And, well, take the time to drop off some technology. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You wish to have them come here? Or, no, wait. My apartment. Yes, that is the correct location. Okay, 
Okay. Listen. While I do understand that, there's way too many complicated things for that. You want to take an alien spacecraft and put it over a city and have someone come down from it. Do you have any idea the type of uproar that can cause? Oh, we are well aware. However, we will not be using the craft or what, the same method we just used down there in the forest. Down there is actually an area where nobody was present. And the city, that would cause problems for us as well. We would most likely encounter Earth's forces, or well be met with lethal or deadly force. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, we are currently having discussions and talking to people. People? Wait, hang on. Do you mean humans? Yes, humans. We have begun the process of making contact? I'm, I'm sorry, can, can you repeat that? I mean, hang on. Let me rephrase this. Can you put that into a better way of saying it? Because from what it sounds like you're trying to say is that the government knows about aliens. Yes, that is exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay, um... I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm just... Holy shit, those people weren't crazy. Okay, um... Well, you just told me that there is a conspiracy that is true. So let me ask you another one. How many more humanoid species are there? How many, how long, how... Just narrow that down for me. How long has humanity known about aliens? At least, just try to summarize it. Oh, well, that is actually a very peculiar question to ask me. I do have enough information I believe I can share with you. However, the answer to it is actually a very strange one. From my understanding, many aliens have visited your species before in the past. What? Yes, thousands and thousands of years ago. In fact, I believe the most recent is my species, who they filling in a gap that is about, I believe, hmm, 1,000 maybe? Yes, 1,000 years ago. Okay. So, how long have your species been investigating mine? Hmm, about 20 or so years, maybe? 20, 30? Um, decade, is that the correct term? Or half a century, that's the other one. Your species has been looking at mine for half a century. Yes, that is correct. Okay. All right, fine, fine. So, where are we going from here? Hmm. Well, allow me to grab some technology and then we could head back. Head back? Yes. Well, more precisely, allow me to pack up some gear and we can head back to the apartment. From there, my commander or my superior, they will actually bring more technology that will be better suited for my task there. And we would not have to make frequent trips out here to go to the ship. Okay. But I have another question. What did you do to me for the week you had me in your custody or unconscious? Because I don't remember anything. And the guy who I work with, he's saying that people have memories of torture and experiments run on them. Oh, no, 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 no. You misunderstand. Or you misinterpret them? Hmm. Well, we do run tests on you. They are nothing harmful. We do not dissect your species. We do not, well, do anything harmful to you. We simply wish to understand exactly how close you are to us. And sometimes that does actually require some tests that, while they may be slightly painful, we do make sure that we do not cause any permanent harm. And we do make sure that your species, they usually go back with no memory. 
However, sometimes if the subject, they have those memories or gaps, it's because they may not have been fully unconscious. And a primal part of them, such as the fearful aspect of your creatures or your species, has taken over. Fear? Okay, that kind of makes sense. Well, I believe that's the easiest way to say it, or at least the simplest way for you to understand. Okay, please don't mock my intelligence. I, I do apologize, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to having a conversation like this. Like what? Where I'm not only collecting information, but I am also attempting to learn more about the other person. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, um, okay. Now, Deku does get to ask the question, how long until her superior does arrive? To which she is going to start counting on her fingers, expressing that he will be here in four human days. And Deku, he does actually find it to be kind of surprising, asking her where they are. Hmm? Oh, well, he's in another star, he is in another star quadrant. Okay, not even gonna bother with that. All right, um, the key replacement. Ah, yes, yes, that is correct. Now, she's gonna turn and walk towards the table. And then just watch as she just walk over, she's gonna scan her hand before a bunch of stuff just start to pop up. Her looking around the table before she is actually going to turn her head upwards and say something. And the moment Degu does hear her speak, he actually gonna bring his hands up to his ears. As the moment he is going to telepathically reach out and tell her to stop, she does, she does actually go to turn. Hmm? Sorry, forgot. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Fuck. That is a very loud voice. Yes, I'm. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Okay, you're fine. Just please tell me when you're going to talk. Yes. Um. Well. Um. Okay then. Now, instead of going to speak, she has actually decided to turn and manually walk over to something. Her typing a few things in before a panel on the wall is open and she actually does go to bring up her hand. Her going to reach in and then go to type a few things in. Before Deku to start to hear mechanical whirling, before she is going to turn around after a few minutes and hand something over to Deku. Her expressing that this would be the piece he is in need of. What is this? Well, it is made with slightly advanced elements. Okay. It is something that we have replicated from our own technology. We have, I have created it so that it will mimic exactly what you would call a rock. Okay, so what do you mean? It is a piece of unknown metal. However, I've structurally created it to resemble a form of earth metal. Hmm? What do you mean? The metal is formed atomically the same way your steel iron iron would be? I decided to incorporate different elements into it, along with coating it in a polymer that can be found on earth. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, your police department said they could not analyze it properly, so this will allow it to be mysterious enough, but maintain a level of earthly presence, so as to not be suspicious, or put more conspiracy on the investigation? Okay, yeah, that works. Now, Deku does decide to reach over, grab it, before we're going to put it directly inside of his pocket, as a... She actually does inform Deku that she has gathered everything she will need so far. And right now, she does believe that everything should be fine. Now, Deku does stare at her as just ask her what she does mean. Her informing Deku that she used the replication machine to create a few items. And that is why it did take so long. Are you serious? That thing's a replicator? Yes. We usually do store raw materials on the ship. We prefer to check and see if we do have equipment beforehand. My species does not, does not like to be wasteful. In fact, well, that is 
the first item, I believe will be wasteful upon my journey and my log. Are you serious? Yes, most items are stored, not wasted. I see. All right. Well, anyways, we need to go now. I mean, Christ, your ship might be seen. Actually, no. My ship will not be seen. What do you mean? It has an active, active camouflage. In fact, the girl going to hold something in her hand. I suppose that she did actually use this and create it. Hmm? What is that? Well, this device is something I will be using. Hmm? For what? Well, from my understanding of your species so far, my appearance will be disturbing. And I do not wish to cause harm in case I am seen. So this device, the girl can impress it. As she immediately does turn invisible. And Deku does stare on and display for a second. Uh Huh. Yes. T fuck. Okay, please turn visible again. Sorry. <sighs> okay. So I get the concept. But please, just explain your tech to me in the car. Then when we get there, we can find out exactly what we'll be doing. All right? All right. Um, thank you. Now, the two would go back down to the forest and get back to Deku's car. As when they are heading back, we do have where she does at least try to explain some of the items she does have. And Deku does listen he does actually try to ask some questions while she is talking. Now, it does seem very intriguing. Deku, he's genuinely curious by this. Only even the fact that A, she's very happy to indulge Deku's curiosity. And she does actually try to ask about tech that may be similar to some of these items that she has from her planet. And Deku does try to explain some that he does recognize. Like the fact was that is basically an invisibility watch or some sort of illusion device. And the girl, she actually is very fascinated by this. The idea that it is similar to Earth tech does intrigue her. And right now, she's trying to indulge some of Deku's, well, periodic wonders. Now, I don't even know if I understand what that means. Now, what I mean to say is, she tries to indulge Deku by telling him what some of the tech does do, and at least trying to relate it to some of this human technology. And Deku, he does find it to be very intriguing. Now, Deku, after the two do get back, we do have where A is walking with Deku. Her holding on to Deku as she does maintain the look down with the hoodie. And as she's walking behind him, we do have where Deku... He does get into the elevator. When this does happen, you do have where it's only him and A. However, it does suddenly go to stop. Deku, thinking as he does look up, that this is not his floor. As we do have where somebody, they do step into the elevator after it does open. Hmm. Detective. Hmm. Shit. Oh, hello. I thought you were at work. Hmm. No, I'm not. I've been swept up in an investigation. Oh, um, is that bad? Well, define bad. Well, if you're in an investigation, why are you getting home so late? Oh, that. No, um, me and my friend here, we were out for dinner. Now, the person they do could look towards this strange person. They're currently wearing... Baggy pants, some shoes, and a very baggy hoodie. All that they're facing down, and they're hiding behind Deku's back? Um, who exactly would that be? Oh, she's a friend of mine. Oh, it's a woman. Now, the person that you explained that, they were just going to head down. However, he might just catch the next elevator. The floor does ding, and Deku and the girl, they do both go walking out to the person. They do just try to think. Good for the detective. 
So he's finally, what, taking some time off of work and focusing on that part of his life? Hmm, maybe he might meet somebody. Pretty neat. Then I'm going to click the button to go down. As Deku, he does at least look at the situation. Okay, so that guy might start talking around now. Try to say something about the fact that he has a girl at his house. That's not pretty good. People around here aren't exactly tight-lipped. Now, we do actually have where they do get inside Deku's apartment, and Deku, he does go to start making some food. As he does try to think about all the technology that A, she currently does have. And A, she actually is going to bring up her hand and click a button down on a watch. As she does currently go to send her coordinates directly to the ship that's on its way. And right now, Deku, he is going to have to try to think about what he can do. Everything is currently fine right now. However, there's the fact that whenever he's out and he does have to return to work, A, she might be left alone in this house. Hmm. A. A. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Um. Deku walking over. As he does express to A, that he does have a few questions about this. Hmm? Um. About what? Your technology. Well, not your technology in, in a um, general sense, but technology-wise, you stay hidden. And, well, from what I understand, there are certain sci-fi concepts. You can create solid illusions around your body? Hmm? Um, oh, I believe I know what you're talking about. Yes, um... You would be able to make yourself appear as somebody different. Ah, I see. Well, that is something that my superior they are bringing, actually. Our camouflage tech is hard. Because our species, we've actually never developed any before. Right, right. Um, I guess you don't really need it if the species is very similar to your own. Yes, that's correct. So, was that all you had for questions? Well, I did have another one. Deku was going to sit down. As he does ask A if she would like him to give her a name. Hmm? Um, I already possess a name? No, no, something that I can pronounce. An earthly name. Oh, that would actually make this arrangement quite easier. Especially because A it is the word or the letter that is the beginning of the first word of alien. And I do not like this correlation because I am on an alien planet. And I technically am the alien here. However, you are also an alien to me. I, I get that, okay? But, okay, um... I need to teach you how to relax and just not speak your mind all the time. But I'm not speaking my mind. I am using telepathy. Okay. Okay, again. Please just... I need to really get that fucking dictionary. Oh yes, you've talked about this book before. Yes, yes, but okay. Um... Hmm... Let's see. Anna? Do you like the name Anna? No, I do not. Okay, um... Bethany? No. I do not like the phrasing of that one. Why? It does not flow. Hmm. Okay, um... Kathy? Hmm. Are you just going down the list? No, no, I'm trying to think. But doesn't that go in numerical order? A, B, C. Yes, okay, I, I see your point. Um, hang on, let me try again. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Huh. What is it? Well, this one starts with an A. But it actually is one that it could be pretty good. Hmm? So you thought about it for more than half of a second, and you believe that I will like it. Um, well, I mean, I'm just trying to spitball here, okay? Names aren't exactly easy to come up with. Okay, then let me hear this one. How about Amelia? Hmm? Amelia. Now. The good is watcher going to bring her hand up to her head. As she's going to bring her hand up onto her chin and go to try and think. Now, Deku Hida's watch. Clearly this name does intrigue her. Hmm. This name does sound similar to something I've heard before. What? Yes, I've done some research. But I do not believe it's directly correlated. Hmm. Amelia. I do like it. Okay, that's strange. Research. What research has she, what research has she done before? I mean, didn't I just come up with the name wildly? Whatever, she does like it. Alright then, um Amelia it is. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.